Hi, today I would like to talk about the C sharp uh, semaphores. So let's get started. I have a little uh, program that's pretty much illustrate how you can use it. So I'm acquiring a new semaphore. And as you can see from the signature, it has a, a initial count, which I have given it the same as the maximum count. And then it gives a name because it's a global semaphore. And, in, and it will come up back with a variable out and uh, given it a name sam created so i would know that semaphore is created so one thing with the semaphores is they can be uh, you can have a account of more than one but i'm initially just using one and uh, that would indicate how many semaphores you can acquire so if semaphore is created i just print the semaphore was created and then i just wait on this semaphore and then I say press any key to release the system semaphore. It's a system semaphore because it's named. And then I uh, wait for something to be keyed on the console. And at the end, I release the semaphore. So if I just uh, run this program called acquire semaphore, which is what I showed you right now, let's see what it does. Uh, basically, it is telling me that the semaphore uh, was created uh, here and it's a system semaphore it's a different program and then i can press any key to release the semaphore so let's say i'm not uh, pressing any key and let's leave it like like that now so if i go into another program which is also going to use the same semaphore it's, uh, it's a little bit similar so you can say if it's to print the message semaphore was created i have a, a five tasks uh, here and uh, they are basically five threads and they're running in a continuous uh, while loop here you can see file true and they each of these threads tries to acquire the semaphore if they are able to acquire uh, they basically print some message saying working and the name of the thread or number and then they re release the semaphore if they're not able to do it then they just say sleeping sleeping and uh, in the end i compare that all the four five threads have had a chance to do this so let me just put a little breakpoint here so we can Oh, so it says it's a little bit different. Let me just make sure it's uh, rebuilding it. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, stop this and rebuild this because it seems like it's not uh, built properly with the code. Okay, that was just a uh, fluke maybe. So let's just uh, do it again. So I have that other program and now I'm going to run this program. okay so now i have it running and you can see it's going to essentially uh, be waiting in a sleeping mode and it's that's what it is doing and since it cannot acquire the semaphore because it's been acquired in a different program so it doesn't come here it comes over here and it just keeps printing sleeping so if i go to the other program which i showed you where i have the semaphore and i can release it so i can press one here and release it and if I release it, uh, all the threads will get to do the work and I'll come to the very end. And you can see here it says working thread, five of the threads are working and it came back. And if I let it go, it should be all done. So you can see the advantage here was that uh, uh, the semaphores can be used across processes and programs and uh, it worked fine. So let me just make one quick change and illustrate to you this. Uh, by changing the number of uh, semaphore count to be two because semaphore can count from more than one or can go to as high a number as you want. So I'm going to change it to two. I'm going to essentially rebuild the whole solution and uh, try the same thing I did before. Uh, just take, uh, give it a minute. It's uh, right now building. And uh, one difference you would note now is if I go into this other pro uh, first one program, and if I try to uh, just put in a, a break at the end of the release, so let's that's what I'm going to do. So if I say debug start new instance, and it's going to do the same thing because it's you waiting for me to do the read line. But the difference is going to be in the other program. So if I just start that other program, see here it uh, completed right away because uh, I only acquired one semaphore in this program, right, the first one. So one semaphore is still available. 
and so the other program is able to essentially acquire the other semaphore and continue on and it's able to complete it uh, it has completed it uh, pretty much and done with it so you can see that this is the advantage with accounting semaphores you can have more than one key and this one is still waiting because it's waiting for me to key in so if i key in it should be all done and it comes up over here it read the read line and done and releases the last one and it's all done so hopefully if you have more than uh, um, of one semaphore you can use it to determine the number of semaphores that are available for synchronization and hopefully you find this interesting if you want to learn more you can essentially go to my website gore associates thank you for watching this short screencast